Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to do some Cajun rice. So before I do that, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you have not. So what I have here are my mixed bell peppers, my green bell peppers. I'm using some hot premium pork sausage and the mouth pork sausage and i also will be using paprika thyme garlic um crushed red peppers this is optional i just want it spicy um black pepper some creole seasoning uh bay leaf and three cups of broth i have long grain rice excuse all that i keep my rice in here y'all know um if you don't know I put my rice in the containers that are in my prepper pantry. So I just uploaded, <laughs> uploaded. I just repacked this um, bin with some long grain rice. I'm gonna use my wok right here. I also have um, two of the celery stalks. You can also use oregano in here. As a matter of fact, it calls for oregano, but I ran out, I went to the store to get some olive oil, which I will be using as well. Um, so let's get into this video. So I had to do a voiceover. First, you wanna cut your bell peppers up, dice them as fine as you want. They don't have to be small. Now you're gonna dice your celery up fine. Next, chop one onion. Dice one clove garlic. If your garlic is doing this, you can plant it and grow garlic in your house. If you're tired of cutting garlic, grab you a jar. So I already have the oil in the pot. Now I'm just gonna add the meat to it and mix. So now it's time to do the lemon pepper chicken in the Power XL. I'm just showing you how it functions. So here's my pot where I had my chicken sitting in. I had some lemon juice and lemon pepper and I let it sit for about 30 minutes. And now I'm about to put it on the racks before I add them to the racks, I will spray the pan, I'm mean, spray the racks so they don't stick. And then I'll add them to the Power XL. The Power XL does come with three racks that you can put in here. You can also dehydrate. I made sure to space the chicken far enough apart. Okay, so. I have both trays in there. I don't need this one right here. So now I'm just gonna close it up. And if I can remember correctly, all I need to hit is air fry. I got them on 40 minutes. And I'm gonna change it from three, put it on 400. 
it only go to 400, y'all. I don't know if you saw what I did, so I'm gonna turn it off so you can see what I did. You need to get it. So I'm gonna hit the on button, the chicken button for air fry. I'm gonna raise it up from 370 to 400, and then it should start. That's it. You got your timers over here if you wanna adjust your time. But I'm gonna start with 40, and I like the fact that you can look in it other one that I have, I like it. You can look at it and lift the lid on it, but I just want to be able to walk over and see it like, you know, in the oven. So now my chicken is in there doing what it needs to do. Continue to stir your pork sausage until it's brown all the way through. You're gonna mix it all together and you're gonna cook this until all your veggies are translucent or if you want it a little crunchy, then don't cook them till they're translucent. It's up to you. Now I'm adding the rice to it. It calls for one and a half cups, but I did two cups. Once it's all mixed well, you can add your broth. I'm starting out with uh, two cups, and then I'm gonna add two additional cups. Now it's time to add your seasonings, paprika, salt, pepper, Creole sauce, Creole seasoning, I'm sorry. Also one bay leaf and pepper flakes. And oregano, if you have oregano, add oregano to it as much as you desire to your taste. And you're just gonna keep mixing this around. I'm looking for a lid to put on this. It didn't come with a lid, so I'm trying to find one that will fit. So I'm gonna do what I have to do to make it work. So the chicken on top is doing well. It's cooked, but I had to change the um, racks from the bottom and move them up because they didn't cook at the same speed as the ones on top. And yes, the cook does have to do a taste test. They were cooked perfect through and through. Okay. 
do this. I also added shrimp to my dirty rice. That's optional as well. Dirty rice is looking like. Put the shrimp in. I have it down on low so the rice can continue to cook and not, it's not hard or anything. I'm about to taste it and see if the rice is hard or if it's soft. The soft is ready. This much. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me 